bees first evolved at least 80 million years ago. And their relationship with humans is a long one. Stone Age people used to collect honey from wild bees. And there's evidence to suggest that we started domesticating bees at least 9,000 years ago. There are around 20,000 species of bees in the world. Many of them are solitary bees, which means they don't form colonies. But the European honeybee, or Apis mellifera, lives in colonies often 50,000 strong. In the colony, there are three different types or castes of bee. The queen, the workers, and the drones. Together, they form a super organism. Each individual has specific roles to play and cannot survive for long if orphaned from the hive. The queen is the largest bee in the hive and she can live for up to six years. Her abdomen is usually elongated and more pointed than that of a worker bee. As she moves around the hive, the other bees will often turn to face her, as she's emitting pheromones that let them know that she is their queen. Normally there's just one queen in a hive, and she can lay up to 2,000 eggs per day. These hatch into larvae, which then turn into pupae, and then emerge as a young bee ready to play its role in the colony. Most bees in a hive are worker bees who are all female. A healthy colony has up to 50,000 worker bees. A worker bee may only live about six weeks in the summertime, and she'll change roles several times throughout her short life. Worker bees do everything from foraging for nectar, to nursing the growing brood, to building honeycomb, defending the hive, and many other tasks. Male bees are called drones. There are much fewer of them in a hive. See how they are larger than the worker bees and have big rounded eyes that touch in the middle. They don't have stingers and don't collect nectar or pollen. And their primary role is to mate with a queen and this happens in mid-air. By becoming a beekeeper, you're taking part in a tradition that's thousands of years old. It's really incredible to think that we humans have had a symbiotic relationship with these little creatures for so long. And that today, because of their importance for pollination, our well-being as a species is intertwined with theirs. In other videos, we'll be going into more detail about each type of bee and all the fascinating things they get up to inside and outside the hive. 